Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com tonight. I'm super excited. Founders Brewing is one of my top five, maybe top three even, uh, breweries, and they continue to test the market with some quality products. They definitely are creative these days. And this beer is out of their Bottle Shop series. This is the Nemesis. Uh, we'll get into a little bit of the details on it, but I'm, I have to read this off the website. I think it's worth your time to hear about this. It says, the Bottle Shop series is a tribute to folks who supported rad tag brewers across the country when craft beer was in its infancy. So I remember when Guinness was considered a craft beer. I remember when there was a, uh, a small little selection outside of the domestic beers where, um, you know, you could maybe or maybe not get it at a restaurant or at a local bar because they were so limited and they brewed such small batches uh, back in the early 2000s. And this is a tribute to that. Um, it says, so innovation with big flavor, uh, in your face complexity, uh, quality above all else. I love that. This beer is distinguished uh, for the connoisseur seeking a revolution that energized the industry as we know today that settles for nothing less than the very best, which again is why I read that and I was like, okay, I have to wait before I open one of these and review it. So right now on their website, I'm looking at it right now, they only have two. They have something called a High Baller Drifter and the Nemesis. It says, um, the Nemesis is a barley wine ale with roast malts, which a lot of them are. Um, no shortage of hops for some bitter background to it, but it's booming in flavor. It says pouring with a slightly and subtle mahogany hue with multiple flavors that will melt your tongue. I love that. If you watch my other reviews over the years, I'm big into the descriptions, the websites. Um, it, I, me personally, I, I know that it has absolutely influenced some of my uh, reasons and uh, motivations to, to uh, purchase certain beers. It says, this one is the nemesis, you will feel good about keeping it around. So, I mean, I give that an A plus. I mean, that's a phenomenal description. So it's 11.2% ABVs, 75% IBUs, and they're having it available, let's just say here, August through, no, April, excuse me, through August. So at my local bottle shop, they got it in, uh, I bought a one four pack. Uh, I think it was around eight, seventeen or eighteen dollars for the four pack, and I have not seen it since. Um, the glass is specific to this, um, so it's got this Founders Brewing right here. Um, the label has the bottle on date, and it is right now uh, two and a half months old. But remember, you've got ABVs of eleven point two percent. These actually can typically typically be stored over the years you can label them um, with an abv of 11.2 percent a lot of them age and they become better as they age so um it doesn't say on the website but again a lot of these higher abvs and barley wines and things that things like that you could do it with so let's get it open let's get in the glass and let's get down to the goodness so definitely pours uh kind of like a porter uh, it's got a, again, I know the light's not great. I apologize. If I, if I tilt it, you can't see it, but right here, there's definitely red, as they call the mahogany color coming out. It's very dark. Um, it definitely does not have the viscosity of a stout, but it definitely has that of a porter. The, the head is dissipating nicely. It's got nice bubbles in it, but it definitely has some color to it, which it should. Holy moly, it smells great. So a lot of, of beers over the years that I've reviewed, the aroma is just not very good and it can taste really good or not, vice versa. But this aroma is awesome. It's it's malty, but not overly malty. It's got a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of nuttiness to it. Um, it smells really good. Maybe a little coffee. It just smells really, really, really good for the way they, they uh, described it. So again, it's much darker than I anticipated. I did not think it was gonna be this dark. Um, that's not good or bad because 
Now is the time where we get to see what's in the glass. Cheers. Yeah. That tastes way better than it smells. It's got a nice, silky um, mouthfeel to it. It dissipates on the front, the middle, the back. It's got a nice coating. Definitely some chocolate. Uh, maybe even a little bit of kind of almost smoky charcoal -y in there, but very, very, very subtle. Um, some nuttiness to it, uh, but a, kind of a pecan. Um, ah, it's good. Um, what else is in there? It's a... Uh, That's good. Um, at 75 IBUs, it's not hoppy, but it's got some bitterness to it. I know that's hard to describe because a darker beer like this will mask some of the different hop characteristics, but man, it's solid. I mean, it's it's very drinkable. Uh, obviously very dangerous at 11.2%, but we I, I rate my beers between one and five. I would give this a solid four solid four if not a four four and a quarter four and a half it's just it's balanced it's smooth to drink you can tell there's some some punch to it some strength behind it but it's not boozy it doesn't burn it doesn't have any sort of weird alcoholic flavor to it it smells really uh smooth and complex it's good they said it in the description i read to you it's booming with flavor this is booming with flavor. I would definitely buy more of these. So again, I rate my beers to one of five, anything over a three, I'd buy again. If I see it in our bottle shop again, I would definitely buy it. And, and the other cool thing about this, remember the description. So they're trying to kind of relive some of the beers in the infancy stages, as they called it, before craft beer was exploding. And it, it does taste like that. It doesn't have this super, um, defined and, and overly uh, brewed, uh, uh, just like science to it. it. It has a little bit of a rough edge to it, but it's solid, it's good. I definitely buy it again. If you tried it, please leave comments down below. We upload all the time now. Appreciate you watching, and as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.